Hey everyone, my name is Leila and today I'm going to show you my top 10 patchouli fragrances. These are the fragrances where patchouli note is very prominent, it's a star of the show. Um, many of the fragrances you'll see today has a patchouli uh, word in their name, so these fragrances are all about patch. I'm a big fan of the patch because um, I think the patchouli add to the fragrances some darkness, character, uh, interest, dimension. Um, many times the, the fragrances that has lots of patchouli mixed with vetiver or even oak moss can be considered uh, cheaper fragrances and I am a big fan of this category. So uh, I want to start with a classical fragrance and I think without this fragrance my list of patchouli fragrances would be incomplete and uh, this is the fragrance from Mugler and this is Angel. Um, I have an old formula a very pungent and strong strong one it's very loud it's very obnoxious fragrance uh, I would say it's extremely bright and it has lots and lots of character and I love it uh, the the new formula is a bit different it's uh, not that loud not that concentrated but this one uh, is perfect just perfect for me because it reminds me of um, the 90s when it, when it was created and when my sister used it a lot. Um, that's why for me it's some sort of nostalgic type of fragrance. The patchouli here is um, the, the, it's very earthy, damp, um, it's uh, chocolatey, it has some chocolate aspect in it. Uh, it's mixed with some red berries, with the caramel, with some metallic notes. Uh, it can uh, you know, sound a bit um, like the ingredients that do not go well together. However, the master of perfumery, um, Maestro Olivia Cress, created a perfectly balanced and a perfectly mixed uh, fragrance. It's an amazing, and I think this is a masterpiece. This is something that uh, created another direction in the perfumery. Uh, which, which was which is called nowadays a gourmand type of uh, fragrances so he created this this fragrance was the pioneer of gourmands I would say and there were many many other fragrances that tried to copy this one but I think it's very and very unique you can't um, you know mix it with something else like you can't confuse it with any other fragrance very recognizable i would say i love this fragrance however i can't wear it every day um, i think that it requires a lot of um, charisma it requires um, some mood and even some courage because this fragrance attracts lots of attention i'm not ready for that much of attention every day um, that's why I decided to give this to my sister uh, because she's a big fan of Angel. She used to wear it since I was, I don't know, um, in the university. Um, I always remember this fragrance uh, on her and she loves it until now. And I think this fragrance deserves to be used uh, because fragrance is like a language. Uh, they say use it or you will lose it. So this is the case. The next fragrance was also created by Olivia Crisp and this is quite a budget fragrance from uh, Yves Rocher. This is Soil Elixir Bois Sensuel. I love this fragrance and this is my third or even fourth bottle and I have also one more as a backup because I was told this fragrance was discontinued. So um, for me Yes, this is quite a simple composition, but this is the case where the simplicity is the beauty of the fragrance. The main, the prominent note here is also patchouli. It's also very chocolatey and earthy here, but it's very well balanced with vanilla and iris notes, which gives some powderness to this fragrance. It's very feminine, a bit sweet, uh, and very beautiful uh, fragrance that I love to wear every day because it's very easy to uh, wear, it's very versatile, you can dress it up or dress it down. Uh, it's very easy to like, it's a compliment getter type of fragrance. This is a very beautiful fragrance that, as I said, also was created by Olivia Cresp and you can say that because um, it shares some similarities with uh, Angel. You can feel the, you know, you can smell the signature of the perfumer. So I would say these two fragrances are from the same family. Very beautiful uh, projection, sillage, longevity, everything is there. So I highly recommend you to try in case if you see that in the Yves Rocher boutiques. The next fragrance is also from 90s and this is Gucci Rush. 
and this is how the bottle looks like it's plastic and it reminds me of the video cassette tape that we used to have in 90s and the whole fragrance is definitely all about 90s it's very beautiful it's very pungent also very bright and it's quite zesty the patchouli here they are a bit earthy but they're not that dark i would say the patchouli have this color it's a bright bright red it's like barbie red um, this fragrance also attracts lots of attention and i like it this is a fragrance that i, I can wear though it is as i said it's very opulent it's very pungent it's very uh, strong and it's like you know someone is screaming and shouting like look at me i'm so beautiful and if you say i'm not i will just kill you this is that type of fragrance so um very loud it has a huge projection an enormous sillage so uh, again another sign to say that another way to say that i'm here look at me so it's very loud this fragrance is all about patchouli uh, a bit of vanilla mixed with a lot and lots of peach the peach here is also very prominent and i would say that this fragrance is mostly the two um, you know uh, stars of the show here are the patchouli and peach and because patchouli gives some greenness and a bit bitter aspect to this peach i would say this fragrance can be called bitter peach um, because it this fragrance is so loud so impudent that i think the bitter peach name uh, such a scandalous name I would suit this fragrance much more than whatever is created uh, under the Tom Ford's brand nowadays. By the way, this fragrance was created in the same time when um, Tom Ford was the art director of Gucci and uh, I think it has that character, it has that, um, as I said, very loud and impudent type of um, uh, character that the name Bitter Peach should have because it has double meaning as you know. So I think that this is my bitter peach. The next fragrance is from Lorenzo Valoresi and this is patchouli. And I think this is how the raw material patchouli, the patchouli oil smells like because this is the most natural smelling type of patchouli without any other additions. The only addition that I can smell here is probably lavender that adds some freshness to this fragrance. It also some, has some vetiver and for me this is a very deep rich green color type of fragrance. Um, if I could make a bottle I would make it very very deep dark green color because this is how this fragrance smells. It is quite masculine I would say the most probably men will enjoy this more than women because it doesn't have any floral notes, it doesn't have any um, sweetness at all, no gourmand notes. So it's a raw patchouli how it smells in the nature in the real life uh, without any additions um, it, they didn't try to beautify this fragrance so it's like a very um, honest type of patchouli here so it's quite masculine i would say and but it's beautiful and if you are a, you know a genuine uh, patchouli lover the most probably you will appreciate this fragrance because it also has a very very high quality i bought it for a very affordable price but this is definitely a niche quality the next category of fragrances is uh, gourmand patchouli and the first one in this category is molinard vanille patchouli and uh, this fragrance smells exactly the same like the name says and promises it smells like vanilla and patchouli uh, and patchouli here is very earthy also a bit damp and chocolatey um, vanilla is here is like um, cookies type of vanilla it reminds me um, of the freshly baked cookies if they were baked not from the normal dough but from the soil because uh, this fragrance is very earthy as I said um, it has definitely some gourmand aspect because as I said vanilla here smells exactly like a freshly baked cookies type of vanilla however you know that you cannot eat those cookies because they are made of soil they are made, made of earth uh, I like this twist, I like this earthy aspect of these cookies and I like that it's not edible because I wouldn't like to smell like a piece of food, you know. Um, that's why I love this fragrance. It's very comforting, it's perfect for the cold weather, 
um, it, it gives you lots of, you know, it warms you up, it gives you a comfort when you're sitting somewhere by the fireplace. It's very cozy, I would say. Beautiful fragrance with an amazing quality for a very affordable price because, um, yes, Monard is a niche brand, but it's quite affordable. It's very long lasting, by the way. It's pungent. Again, it's very obnoxiously loud very long lasting and it has huge projection and sillage. The next fragrance from the same category, from the category of um, gourmand type of patchouli is uh, patchouli from the Ukrainian brand. Uh, this is patchouli absolute by Negligé. And this is a very good Ukrainian uh, indie brand that creates a high quality fragrances. Um, and unfortunately, I'm not sure if they um, deliver worldwide however this is a beautiful beautiful type of patchouli also it is also gourmand because it has uh, lots of vanilla and tonka beans it has some incense so it's so deep and rich and also warming an excellent patchouli for winter for um, uh, fall it also has some alcohol aspect in it which is also something that will warm you up so an excellent quality juice um, with a amazing technical characteristics in terms it's a uh, very loud it's very long lasting it has a huge projection and sillage it's absolutely unisex uh, you know i can easily imagine this um, on men or women it doesn't matter a beautiful beautiful high quality niche type of fragrance that i highly recommend in case if they do it deliver worldwide the last fragrance in this category in the category of gourmand patchouli is patchouli from um, reminiscence and this is patchouli elixir a very beautiful warming up type of fragrance because patchouli here they are yes they are earthy and dark as always um, but they're again very chocolatey um, I can smell here some balsamic notes some um, alcohol notes it's quite boozy I would say especially on the start um, it also has some bourbon vanilla, it has uh, tonka beans, so it's, um, it has some sweet pillow underneath, you know. It's very beautiful. Uh, I would say this is um, a, an intelligent gourmand type of fragrance because it's very deep and rich. It's definitely not edible, but it's very beautiful. And I highly recommend, in case if you are a big fan of Patch, I highly recommend you to try this one. It's absolutely unisex. I can equally imagine it on men or women. And I think for a very uh, affordable price, because this fragrance is about 40 to $50, this is an absolutely amazing quality. So I think this is some sort of hidden gem uh, in the perfumery. It has 100% uh, niche qualities. Um, it's quite complicated, it's complex, it's a bit challenging probably, but in case if you love patchouli, you will definitely love this one. So for me, again, this is a very warming up type of fragrance. It's like a you know a heater in the bottle. So in case if the winters in your country are quite cold, I suggest you to try this one. The most probably you will like it. The next category of fragrances is the mixture of patchouli and rose or patchouli and flowers. And the first one in this category is Tom Ford's White Patchouli. I love this fragrance. Um, because it's very clean, fresh, but at the same time, very, it smells very expensive. It has a, a bit of uh, old school vibes, yes. However, I think this is some timeless classics for me. Um, this is the different type of patchouli. It's not earthy, it's not dirty, um, it's not dark. It's a white patchouli. It's definitely very clean and crisp type of medicinal type of patchouli that smells gorgeous here because it has a lot of flowers uh, on the top, like floral notes. It has some magnolia, I believe, because I smell magnolia here. It has some rose peony notes. It also has some incense. However, if the incense could be white, this is definitely a white incense. It's a um, very serious classical type of fragrance that is perfect for office, I think, um, because it creates uh, an image of um, you know business lady I think because this fragrance is by the way marketed for women however I think this is an absolutely unisex type of fragrance it's gorgeous it's beautiful very long-lasting projecting it has a beautiful sillage 
so I highly recommend you to try this one if you haven't yet though this is quite an old fragrance and I believe it was already discontinued however you can still find it uh, online the next fragrance in this category is a um, fragrance that I adore and this is Van Cleef & Arpels Moonlight Patchouli uh, this is the mixture of patchouli, rose and um, suede and this is like nude or color suede that gives this fragrance softness, uh, tenderness. It's very soft and warm, again, type of fragrance. Uh, it differs a lot from the white patchouli because white patchouli by Tom Ford is quite uh, cold and uh, sterile. It's uh, like a fragrance that reminds me of white shirt, like a crispy white shirt. Um, this one is completely different. It's darker, of course, it's a shipra. The Tom Ford's white patchouli is also shipra, but I would call it a white shipra. This one is definitely a darker one. However, it's not. Um, it's it's very positive, and at the same time, it's um, very warm. As I said, um, it's very comforting type of uh, shipra. I would say, because of that uh, suede note, which is very soft, and it's a body type of suede. You know, um, this fragrance smells very soft. I love it. It doesn't have lots of, you know, projection and sillage. It's, um, it smells very close to the skin. However, it's very long lasting and a very high quality, I would say. I didn't buy this um, blindly. I bought it after I finished my tester, 10 milliliters tester, and I decided that I cannot imagine my life without this fragrance anymore. So I went for the full bottle and I don't regret because this is, uh, you know, my treasure. I just love it. And the last, fragrance for today, the last but not least, uh, it's my absolutely favorite patchouli of all times. I can't again imagine my life without this fragrance. If I had a list of fragrances that I cannot imagine my life without, this will be number one. This is uh, Patchouli Intense by P Patricia de Nicolai and this is an art. For me, this is a masterpiece this is the fragrance that when you smell you want to close your eyes because you get so much pleasure from it it's so beautiful amazing this is a high quality french perfumery yes it's classic yes some might say uh, someone might say it's uh, old schoolish however i think it's it has some roots from the old school but at the same time it's quite modern i think this is like an example for me how the perfumery should be um, how the modern perfumery should smell like. For me, this is an art. This is a pure art for me. It's beautiful. However, being an art, this is not that type of art that you, you, know, you cannot use for every day. For me, this fragrance is very versatile and I can easily wear it for every day. The only one aspect that stops me is the loudness of this fragrance. This uh, fragrance is overly loud. It's, you know, it's... Um, <laughs> it's like an atomic war, I would say. This is one of the most, the loudest fragrance in my collection. So you just need uh, the, the very, very, you know, tiny, tiny spray if you can. And um, I know that because my husband, by the way, he doesn't like this fragrance. He always notices it on me when I do one or two sprays. He always um, smells it from me and he says, oh, again, you use this um, old grandpa cologne. Um, well, I don't care because I just love it. As I said, this is for me everything. I cannot imagine my life without this fragrance anymore. Um, I love this type of patchouli. It's different from everything I showed you before. It's quite um, fresh, clean. Also, it's, it's not white. It's definitely green. However, it's very clean and soapy at the same time. It has a note of lavender on the top. It has geranium. It has some rose, a bit of um, vanilla, I believe. So beautiful fragrance. As I said, very loud, potent, long lasting. But because I find this is so beautiful for me, the loudness is not a negative moment. For me, this is a positive moment. I love to feel this and smell this from myself during the whole day and even the next day. So um, it's just a one love for me amazing fragrance. I can sing, you know, songs about this fragrance uh, every day because I love it so much. So highly recommended to try. By the way, they have a smaller bottle, so you can just buy a 30 ml bottle. 
but because I love it so much I decided to go for the full bottle so I think that's it for today and I hope you liked my list if you have uh, the fragrances with a prominent patchouli note in your uh, collection please let me know and uh, I'll be happy I appreciate all your comments if you're new to my channel and you enjoy this type of content I invite you to subscribe and don't forget to press that notification bell not to miss my next video I also invite you to um, visit my Instagram page and if you like that content if you like those pictures also you are welcome to subscribe um, I wish you a great, great next week and an amazing uh, weekend and I hope to see you in my next videos. See you. Bye.